Good morning, Hopkinton Middle School, and welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, Jake Strutter. Today, we are bringing you a classic segment with a new twist. Here comes Minute with the assistant principal. Hi, everyone. I'm here with Karen Tang. She is our eighth grade ambassador for Project 351 this year. Karen, can you tell us a little bit about what Project 351 is? It's like a nonprofit organization where 375 ambassadors from every city and town in Massachusetts gets chosen for their effort and humility and they meet up in Boston on January 18th every year. Wow, congratulations. So you've already gone to launch day. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So launch day is about like service, meeting new people and ex sharing your experiences as being an unsung hero and everybody is really accepting and you get to make new friends. Wow, that's great. And is there anyone who inspires you in your work to be an ambassador? So I don't consider her as like a really close friend. I just consider her as like a mutual friend, but it's Steph Johnson. And she's an eighth grader, just like me. And for S and her name, she's a strong leader. And she always chooses kind, which I really like about her. And I will always remember her. Great, that's wonderful. And so as you continue your work as our ambassador for Project 351, is there anything that you're going to continue working on throughout the year? In fact, I have a Cradles to Crayons this year, which I'm starting in like a few, in one month. And I have Memorial Day, 9-11 Tribute Fund, and Fall Service. Wonderful. Well, we look forward to seeing how you're involved in all those projects. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Thank you, Miss Lape, and congratulations, Karen. That is awesome. Now, speaking of awesome, we bring you Mr. Rockwood. Good morning, and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Did you know that on this day in history, February 7th, that British author Charles Dickens was born? Sure, you know Charles Dickens. He wrote works such as Oliver Twist. Please, sir, we want some more. You want some more, you say? Well, what about Great Expectations? He also wrote that. And A Bleak House, A Tale of Two Cities, and A Christmas Carol, David Copperfield, just to name a few. Also on this day in history, in 1949, center fielder Jolton Joe DiMaggio signed a contract with the New York Yankees worth $100,000. Now, that was the first six-figure contract signed in Major League Baseball. Remember, that was 1949. Think about the, the staggering amounts of money that are offered to ball players today. Also on this day, well, before I get to that, Joe DiMaggio was once married to Marilyn Monroe as well. Also on this day in history, for Jake S. and other aficionados, in 1964, this is the day that the Beatles landed in New York to begin their first U.S. tour. That's it for today, folks. Make it a great day. Make sure that you always want more. And read a great book this weekend. Appreciated, Mr. Rockwood. Let's keep going with the classics, shall we? Our quest of the day is, if you had one day left on Earth, what would you do with it? Eat grilled cheese. Play a Play bunch of hockey. sports. Sleep. Visit Disneyland. I'd cuddle my dog the whole time. I'd just go crazy like usual. I would play NBA 2K. I would play Lego Star Wars TCS. You know what I would do. I'd read a great book. Go to Six Flags. I would hang out with my friends all day. Get all the dogs I want. I would bring Beetlejuice back to life. <laughs> I would listen to the amazing song, Mind Diamonds. Doing Just Dance on Josie's TV. Play basketball. Play with my friends and family the whole day. Play Madden. Eat all the food I can. We would play, play Club, Club Penguin. Penguin. Become, Become president. president. Our thanks to everyone who answered. And now let's have some birthday wishes. Happy birthday to you all. All we have left is, have you seen this? This is a picture of someone in the school. Have you seen this? Send us an email and we will pick a random winner for a candy phone cup. Also, thank you for all of the shout outs. I don't know how we are going to get caught up, so we'll run some during the end credit 
thoughts. All right, what's happening in your HMS ward? Let us know. We'll le we love email. We'll be back next week with more. Thanks for watching.